Okay, please go to page 180 in your activity book and get your pencil ready as well as your place value chart and your expo marker ready. And at the heading on page 180, it says patterns and division by powers of 10. And then it says, read along with me, recall that powers of 10, such as 10 to the first power, 10 to the second power, and 10 to the third power represent repeated multiplication with 10. The exponent tells you how many times to use 10 as a factor. So 10 to the first power is just equal to 10. 10 to the second power is the same as multiplying 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. And 10 to the third power is equal to multiplying 10 times 10 times 10, which is equal to 1,000. And then it says, study the patterns in exercises 18 and 19, and then complete exercises 20 through 23. So get your place value chart ready. The book is saying that we're going to study numbers 18 and 19. Let's take a close look at 18 and let's see how they arrived at this answer that they provided. So what I want you to do is take a look at 18. It says three, sorry, 35 and 6 tenths divided by 10 is equal to 3 and 56 hundredths. And then just previewing our way down, we still have... 35 and 6 tenths as our dividend, but then our divisor changes. It goes from 10 to 100 and to 1,000. And again, they give the answers for us. And what I'm noticing is that our dividend and our quotient are similar. They have similar, they have the same digits, but their place values have changed. And how we're going to solve these, remember, when we divide by 10, 100, 1,000, when we multiply by 10, 100, 1,000, we can use our place value chart and we're simply moving the digits um, either to the left or to the right, depending if we're multiplying or dividing by a certain amount of times. So we could solve these problems like using long division, such as 10 goes into three and, sorry, 35 and 6 tenths. We could solve it that way, but here's another and easier way of doing it. So with our place value chart, we're going to be writing with the first one, we're going to write our dividend. That's the number that we're first looking at and then dividing by in the first line of our place value chart. So the three goes in the 10 spot, the five goes in the ones, and the six goes in the 10 spot again to represent 35 and 6 tenths. And then I'm going to, on the side, I usually just do it kind of small. Divided by 10 is what we're going to be doing. Dividing by 10, they got the answer, and we're going to write the answer in the second row, and we're going to be looking at it and saying and thinking to ourselves, how did they come up with that answer? They got the answer of 3 and 5,600. So write that in the second row with me. And let's take a look at our dividend and now our quotient or our answer how did we go from 35 and 6 cents to 3 and 56 hundredths? Same digits, just different place values. Let's do those little hills that we were drawing in arrows to represent the movement of the digits. The 3 went from the tens place to the ones. How many place values to the right did the 3 move? Just one. The 5 went from the ones to the tens. Again, that's moving to the right. How many times or how many place values did the five move to the right? Just one. And then the six moved from the tenths to the hundredths. Draw the arrow with me. That's, again, just one place value to the right. Okay. Let's try that next answer then, um, 35 and six tenths divided by 100. So what I'd like you to do is keep that first row the same. Erase your arrows, erase our quotient. We have a different answer here. So we're working with 35 and 6 tenths again, but now we're dividing. The next one is dividing by 100. So on the side, I'll put divide by 100. Let's put in our answer into the second row and let's see how did they get this answer. 356 thousandths was the answer they got. So the three goes in the tenths, five goes in the hundredths, six goes in the thousandths. Does your, does your place value chart look like mine? 
Okay, well, how do they go from the digit three in the tens to the digit three in the tenths? We're still moving to the right. Our numbers are getting smaller. How many place values did the three move? Let's count and draw together. One, two. It moved two place values to the right. Let's take a look at the digit five. How did the five go from the ones to the hundreds? Well, it went to the right how many times? One, two, so two place values to the right. And then the tenths, let's draw those hills again. We're going to the right. One, two, it moved two place values to the right. Okay, last one that we're gonna do, I'm taking lots of mental notes now. 100, when we divide it by 100, the digits move two place values to the right. What do you think is gonna happen for divided by 1,000? Any predictions? What happens when we divide by 1,000? Well, let's draw it out and let's take a look. Divide by 1,000, I'm gonna squeeze 1,000 in over here. We got the answer, or they got the answer, and this is gonna go off our place value charts. 356 ten thousands. And I'm gonna put the six at the end of the thousands place value, that's the ten thousands place value. How many place values did we move to the right in order to get the quotient when we divide it by 1,000? Let's take a look at the three and let's count and draw our arrows and then like our little humps for each place value. It moved one, two, three place values to the right. Same with the five. Let's draw and count. One, two, three place values. Same with the six. One, two, three place values. When we divide it by 1,000, our digit shifted to the right again, but this time three place values. So as we saw with division, our digits are going to the right. They're getting smaller in value. And it depends on how many times we move, depending on if we're looking at 10, 100, or 1,000. How many place values did it move for 10? One place value, so I'll label that over here, one PV. For 100, how many place values did the digits move? Two PV, and divide by 1,000, it moved three place values. That is the rule that we're gonna follow, and we're gonna write this rule, we're gonna skip down to number four, and we're gonna fill this out together. It says, complete these statements to summarize your work from exercises 18 through 23. We haven't done it yet, but let's put in the rule now so that you can easily follow these, um, easily solve these. So for A, dividing a number by, it should be one, sorry, 10 to the first power or 10. The digits shift to the right one place. So go, put, go ahead and put a one there. Dividing a number by 10 to the second power or by 100, digit shift to the right, two place values. And then dividing a number by 10 to the third power or by 1000, the digit shift to the right, three place values. That is true for number 19 that they did for us. And here's how we're gonna continue to solve these problems. The first step, is to get your place value chart out and ready, of course, into a race. And I'll get you started on number 20. You look at the dividend, the number that we're starting with, and you notice for these ones, we're dividing by 10 to the first power, 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power. That means we could take this dividend and shift the digits based on um, the dividing by 10, 100, 1,000. So on the first line, you write out what number we're starting with. In this case, it's 50 and seven tenths, and then you use the second row to shift the digits to the right depending on what we're multiplying by. So for, sorry, depending on what we're dividing by. So if we're dividing by 10 to the first power, that's the same as dividing by 10. And if we're dividing by 10, it goes to the right how many times? One time. So the digit goes from the, um, the digits go right one place value. So for example, the five and the tens, goes to the ones, the zero and the ones place value, goes to the tenths, and the seven and the hundreds place value goes, sorry, seven and the tenths place value goes to the hundreds. And then whatever you arrive at, 
with all your shifting in the second row is your quotient or your answer. Don't forget your decimals. So for example, this one, when we shifted the digits, one place value to the right, we got five and seven hundredths or five decimal zero seven. Keep following this, um, this routine. The dividend goes on the first line. You shift based on what we're dividing by either one, two, or three times. And then you, on the second row, you arrive at your quotient. Go ahead and give exercises 20 to 23 a try using your place value charts.